Hey, how's it going everyone and welcome to our beginner's guide to Genji. In this video, we will be going over Genji's abilities and a few common tricks that can be applied while using them. Thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Genji's passive ability is Cyber Agility. This allows Genji to jump while in air and also climb walls. This is one of the main components of Genji's kit as it gives him more mobility than most other heroes in the game. This ability allows Genji to get to areas otherwise unreachable. Note that one useful trick is that after wall climbing, Genji is allowed to jump in air once more. Genji's ranged weapons are shurikens. Left click fires three of them in quick succession at the crosshair. Right click is fan of blades which splits them at a cone shaped angle. Each shuriken does 28 damage and can all deal double damage if they are headshots. Keep in mind that normal tosses are more accurate but fires less while fan of blades fires them with less accuracy but at a faster rate. Genji's left shift is Swift Strike. This ability allows Genji to dash forward while dealing 50 damage to all enemies he passes through. This ability complements Genji's cyber agility as it helps bring up Genji's mobility even more. Each time Genji gets an elimination, meaning kill or assist, the cooldown of his Swift Strike is reset. Next, Genji's E is Deflect which ricochets oncoming projectiles. This can block major abilities such as McCree's flashbang or Hanzo's ultimate. Keep in mind that this ability only has a 2 second duration and still requires you to aim where you want the projectile to bounce to. Also, Genji cannot deflect projectiles that are coming from behind him. Note that this can only deflect projectiles, so this does not include Zarya's beam or Reinhardt's ultimate. Finally, Genji's ultimate is Dragon Blade. When used, Genji replaces his shurikens with a sword that deals 120 damage per swing and lasts for 8 seconds. Note that activating this ability also refreshes the cooldown of your Swift Strike. Make sure to use this ability wisely while the enemy team is unaware of you or else you can be shut down pretty easily. Anyways guys, this is the end of the beginner's guide to Genji. Again, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like and comment down below if you have any questions. Please do subscribe because we will be making more Overwatch videos and guides like this one in the future. See you guys next time.